Good thing I don't have any more fans. Why is it so difficult to walk into the wind like this? Let's find out. With Beyblade! Ah! Hi, I'm Dr. Bay, and this is basically science. I love science because it's in everything we do. Eating, breathing, walking, and even blading. That's right, there's a science to Beyblade. Let me show you. Welcome to the lab, Bay fans. This is basically science and I am Dr. Bay. Not a real doctor, just a passionate blader. That wind before was blasting right in my face, in my guts, in my legs, pushing against me. Did you know Beyblade tops go through the same obstacles when they spin through the air? How they interact with the air depends upon their shape. This interaction between objects and their shapes and the air around them is called aerodynamics. You've probably heard of aerodynamics before. When an object moves through the air or fluid easily, it's said to have more aerodynamics. But when it struggles to push through the air, it's said to have less aerodynamics. One major factor that affects aerodynamics is drag, and that's gonna be our topic for today. Drag is a resisting force that acts opposite the motion of an object. Drag is affected by a few elements, like fluid density, how dense the fluid or air is around the object, spin speed, how fast the object is moving or spinning through the fluid, and shape. But today we're going to focus on the shape of an object. Simply put, a shape with larger surface area moving through fluid finds it harder to get through the fluid or air it's moving through. This is because it has to push through more air as it moves. Basically, it has more drag force working against it. That's why I had to use so much energy walking through the wind earlier. My hair, my coat, all of it meant that I had a bigger surface area. So I had to push through more air as I walked. Basically, I had more drag force working against me. I didn't have great aerodynamics. Now, if I was smaller, <laughs> if I was smaller, I'd have less surface area and so less drag acting against me as I run. That's because I'd have to push through less air as I'm moving. I'd have more aerodynamics and so I'd be able to run faster. Take that, giant Dr. Bay. All tops have aerodynamics, but some have more aerodynamics than others. A Beyblade top with a larger surface area facing the fluid it's spinning through has less aerodynamics in its shape and more drag. First, let's take a look at how shapes and their surface areas affect drag. If I were to take an object like, I don't know, this pen and drop it, what do you think will happen? That's right, it'll fall. Have you been reading ahead? Ouch. When the pen drops, its motion is downward. Drag acts opposite the motion, so in this scenario, the drag will be acting upwards. Ouch. This pen's not too large. It's got a surface area of about five inches squared. So when I drop it, it doesn't have to push through much air. It doesn't have much drag working against it. So it falls pretty quickly. Now, if we could only increase the surface area of the pen, we could increase drag and slow it down. This pen saving parachute has a surface area of about 88 inches squared. With this in place, the surface area of our pen is a lot bigger. So 
the drag will be a lot bigger too. That means it'll have a much bigger drag force acting upwards when I drop it. The falling pen will have to push through more air. It'll have more drag working against it, and so it will fall slowly. And a good thing too, because it didn't break. But what does drag look like in battle? In battle, drag works basically the same way, but the motion of the Beyblade isn't down because it's not falling. It's horizontal because it's spinning. On top of that, because the Beyblade is spinning, it's in an air gap, kind of like a little bubble. So it doesn't have to push through as much air as the non-spinning pen from experiment one. But they do have to push through some air, and so their shape and their surface area are still very important. Like I said before, all tops have varying degrees of aerodynamics. Some have less surface area moving through the air as they spin, so they have more aerodynamics thanks to their shape. Here we have two Beyblade tops with different levels of aerodynamics. Wonder Valtriek V4 and Air Knight K5. We're gonna launch these two tops at the same speed on the same stadium with the same forge discs and the same performance tips to make sure that we can limit any confusing variables that might pop up like friction or distribution of mass or velocity. The only difference will be their energy layer. That way, we can be sure to focus on the aerodynamics of the shape of each Beyblade as it spins through the air around it. Air Knight K5 has really good aerodynamics. It's sleek and has less surface area, so it cuts through the air as it spins. On the other hand, Wonder Valtriac V4 has a lot less aerodynamics. It's more bulky, and so it has more surface area and more drag working against it when it spins. With the same launch power, we should be able to assume that the Beyblade with more aerodynamics, that is the Beyblade with less surface area pushing through the air, should be able to spin for longer. And that's because it has less drag working against it. Three, two, one, let it rip! We were right. Air Knight K5 spun for five seconds longer on average than Wonder Valtriac V4, which spun for 48 seconds on average. That's because it had more surface area and so more drag. It didn't have a lot of aerodynamics. Now, I don't know if you remember, but before we said there were lots of elements that affected drag. If you don't remember, rewind the video. We can wait. Drag is affected by a few elements, like fluid density, how dense the fluid or air is around the object, spin speed, how fast the object is moving or spinning through the fluid, and shape. One of those elements was fluid density. If we could find a way to increase the density of the fluid, then maybe we could find a way to increase drag without changing the surface area. This box contains air at a really high humidity, meaning lots of moisture. It's kind of like a tropical vacay. All this moisture makes the air in here super dense. That means that when we launch a Beyblade in here, it's gonna struggle to push through the air. In other words, there'll be more drag acting against it. Let's see just how much a change in fluid density can affect drag. 
We'll use Air Knight K5, which spun for 53 seconds on average last time. Its shape is gonna be the same, but with a change in fluid density, I'm gonna predict that there's gonna be an increase in drag and therefore a decrease in spin time. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Oh no, it stopped spinning heaps quicker. Who could have predicted this? Science. Science could have predicted this. Now I know this episode's been dragging on. Do you get it? Ace Dragon D5? That's what I call a two for one pun. But let's take a look at what we learned today. We know that our tops are affected by drag and that it slows them down. Lots of things impact drag, but two major points are the shape or surface area of the Beyblade and the density of the fluid that it spins in. More surface area or higher fluid density leads to more drag and less spin. Tops with less drag have more aerodynamics and they spin for longer. You've all been amazing lab partners. I'll catch you next time when we look at precession. Now, if you excuse me, I've got to get back to my research. Take that, giant Dr. Bay.